if it happens I will now only be able to say you read it here second. For months I've been thinking about, and failing to get round to, writing a piece suggesting that the obvious person to run against Donald Trump at the next U.S. election is Oprah Winfrey. Friends from the U.S. have mentioned the idea, and it sounds a little implausible only until you remember that Trump is president and that it will take someone with a superior self-made career and emotional connection to Americans to beat him. John Podhoretz in the New York Post nailed the idea yesterday in a terrific piece. He concludes that Oprah is the best hope of the Democrats in 2020, if she will do it. If you think that Trump can be beaten by a twaddern governor of a Midwestern state with really good ideas about health care, or by a senator who really attracts young people, think again. The idea that a relatively conventional elected official will differentiate herself from Trump by dint of her seriousness, or that an unconventional elected official can out populist Trump is crazy. You need a star to beat a star, as Potterett says, and that means a successful opponent for Trump must be someone Trump can neither intimidate nor outshine. Oprah is the modern American dream embodied, having started from nothing and made her $3 billion fortune entirely legitimately by being smart. In TV terms she is at the top of the Premier League, whereas the, the Donald never was. We're through the looking glass here. America is discarding old approaches in politics. Democrats will have to do the same to match the mood to the moment. And that's where Oprah Winfrey comes in. She is the mirror image of Trump, but more so. Of course, she's female and he's male she's America's generous aunt, and he's America's crazy uncle. And yes, she's black and he's white, she's liberal and he's whatever he is. It was Oprah's hosting of a segment on 60 Minutes recently, where voters in Michigan discussed their differences, that sparked Potteritz's interest. She listened, asked, spoke without judgment, and tried to find common ground. In a place as starkly divided country as the U.S., isn't that approach going to be a rather powerful proposition after three more years of Trump's tweets and him calling his young fellow American sons of bitches and generally going on like a complete clown shaming a great country think of the potential for her to revolutionize campaigning too? Oprah really can fund her own campaign. Imagine that. No donations. She could say when offered money by donors no, I'm running, I am picking up the bill. I am beholden only to the voters. Please instead put your money into one of the many projects listed on my website that across America, in grassroots projects, work to improve opportunity and heal divisions. An Oprah run would be worth it just for the look on Trump's face when he realizes a bigger TV star is coming after him. Follow Reaction on Twitter. Stay up to date with the featured content from Reaction.